how to analyze a poem using the TPCAST method. You need to start TPCasting by looking at the title of the poem. Before you read the poem, what do you think the title means? What images or ideas does it bring to mind? This is a way of making sure that you read the title and pay attention to it. Titles can be very important. Sometimes they're not. Sometimes the title is simply the first line of the poem, or um, Sonnet 25, for example, from Shakespeare. Other times, such as the poem Dulce Decorum S, where the title is Latin and ends up being ironic, it's important that you've read and understood the title. Next, you're going to want to paraphrase line by line. A paraphrase means translating into your own words, and this will be on a strictly literal level as much as possible. Meaning, at the paraphrase level, you're not trying to interpret or explain what lines mean symbolically or thematically. You're simply translating and explaining on a literal level what's happening in the poem. After paraphrase, you'll want to move to connotation. Connotation asks what the suggested meanings are of the words. And this is where you deal with any figurative language, allusions, imagery, personification. Anything beyond the literal happens in connotation, and this section of your TP cast will be one of the longest sections. You want to make sure you make note of everything that you see. You won't use all of it to write a paper, but the more information you have under connotation, the more evidence you have to work with when it comes to the next several steps. After connotation, attitude and tone. Attitude and tone is the speaker's attitude toward the subject at hand. And the attitude or tone needs to be determined by the words and ideas and concepts you touched on in connotation. Tone or attitude will then shift at some point in the poem. It's important that you identify the places where the tone shifts. This may happen once, may happen more than once. It may be very obvious and clear, or it may be much more subtle. But you need to identify the shifts. You need to be fairly certain about those because this is really one of the most important steps in understanding a poem. Finally, you're going to want to look at the title one more time. Sometimes the meaning of the title has shifted once you get to the end of the poem, such as in Dulce Decorum S, uh, Latin for it is sweet and fitting to die for one's country. And by the end of the poem, we see that the poet means that ironically, not literally. So in that case, it's important to revisit the title again. Finally, you get to theme. Theme is where we answer that big question, the overall idea, lesson, or concept that the poet is trying to get across to us. We need to remember how we brainstormed abstract nouns in class, made phrases, and combined those phrases into cause and effect statements. That is how you find theme. It's the same for poetry as it is for short stories. Finally, with the TPCAST system, you don't have to do everything in the order in which it appears. Sometimes it's helpful to jump around a little bit. Maybe you identify the shifts first and uh, then look for connotations before you paraphrase. The important thing is that you understand the poem on a literal level. You understand the symbolic level of the poem, the connotations of the words. You can see where the tone shifts. And you can see how all of those concepts and ideas, including understanding the title, contribute to the overall understanding of the poem. If you would like help applying the TPCAST system to a particular poem, I'll be uploading a video later this weekend that helps you do that. I encourage you to watch this video over several times until you fully understand and have memorized the TPCAST acronym. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in class.